In the news tonight, Henry Boyce murder preliminary inquiry. Two accused to stand trial in the High Court. Motorcyclist dies in a vehicle accident. Progestion critical. And CARICOM leaders are meeting face to face for the first time in two years. It is time to live with COVID. Magistrate PTU today ruled that a sufficient case was made out against murder accused Vunod Gopal and Alan Sancharo by the police legal advisor attorney at law. Mandel Moore. The two men were accused of killing cousins Joel and Isaiah Henry, which took place on September 6, 2020, in Cotton Tree, Bagdam. The ruling was handed down today at the Blamont Magistrates Court. The star witness for the police, who is in custody for the same offense, testimony was the basis on which the two men were committed to stand trial. The 21-year-old witness told the court that the death of the cousins stemmed from the spraying of a wheat farm in the Bagdam. Gopal, 34 years of Black Bush Polder, current in Bobis, and Sanchara, 33 years of the Edward Village, West Coast Bobis, had professed their innocence of the crime when they first appeared in the Georgia Magistrates Court. The Henry boys were murdered and had their spines severed and chopped wounds about their bodies. The deaths of Joel and Isaiah sent shockwaves throughout the country, resulting in protests and calls for justice. Planning an elegant or corporate event? Let the experts at Star Rentals equip you. Give your event that spectacular five-star experience it deserves with the options of transparent tents of various sizes, indoor and outdoor formal bars and cocktail tables with LED lights, stage, podium with lighting, portable AC units, generators, executive portable washrooms, outdoor light tower, and much more. Call today, 226-3020, online, www.starrentalsgy.com. Star Rentals, we got you covered. Hey, looking for office furniture, stationery, electronics, janitorial supplies, or even dietary products? Okay, stop searching, because we at Imperial Trading have all that and more. Check us out at 73 Section 8 Urban Street, or give us a ring on 639-3785. And be sure to ask about our special discounts. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need, we got it. Because at Imperial Trading, we operate so you can operate. A motorcyclist is now dead and a pedestrian is critically injured following an accident at Agricola on the east bank of Demerara last night. The dead man was identified as Lionel Berkeley of Lot 58 East Ramvelt Housing Scheme, Georgetown. While the pedestrian was identified as Shirley Hollingsworth, 866 of Public Road, Agricola East Bank, Demerara. According to the police, a 24-year-old man was proceeding north along the center of the Western Carriageway on a Agricola Public Road without a safety helmet when it was alleged that the motorcycle collided with a female pedestrian who was crossing from east to west on a pedestrian crossing. Both Berkeley and Helensworth received injuries to their bodies. Lionel was picked up in an unconscious condition and transported by ambulance to the Georgia Public Hospital where he was pronounced dead on arrival. The woman is presently a patient at the Georgia Hospital Intensive Care Unit. Her condition is regarded as critical. Berkeley was employed at the Ministry of Labor as a driver. Washi. Hi people. 
Washing me, it's so easy since I found Washi. Washi me use wash me clothes and I can say. Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash your soap powder, leave me clothes smelling nice, of course. So give thanks for wash your soap powder for doing my laundry in right. Keep my clothes color bright. Have me clothes smelling nice for sure. I could not ask for more. Comes in lemon and original. It is a washing machine in a pack. Wash your soap powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash your soap powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash your soap powder, have my clothes smelling nice, of course. Distributors located in the Starbrook market. In the news tonight, the coronavirus is spreading rapidly due to the Omicron variant. FHL Executive Cleaning and Sanitizing Services is offering enhanced disinfecting and protection services to combat this deadly strain. As you look to transition your employees back to work, FHL Executive Cleaning and Sanitizing Services is here to assist. You can reach them at 592-667-1477 or 592-677-3736 to select an electrostatic protection package. FHL, sanitizing with purpose. During the opening of the third intersessional meeting of the CARICOM Heads of Government, which is being held in Belize, the new chairman of CARICOM, Prime Minister of Belize, John Brasino, said the region must be more strategic and coordinated in our advocacy and must demand an immediate reform of the international financial system. For 2022, a clock has already revised downward its projections for the Caribbean from 7.8% to 1.6 to 1 to 6.1 percent in addition to these circumstances many of us are carrying unsustainable debt loads and have limited fiscal space to mount the necessary economic response unfortunately only four CARICOM member states are participating in the IMF's debt service suspension initiative and in 2020 only five member states, including Haiti, received concessional financing from the World Bank. This is wrong. It is also unjust. While it is imperative that we continue to press our case, which is fair and just, we know from experience that the wheels of international cooperation grind slowly. Therefore, we must be more strategic and coordinated in our advocacy. We must demand an immediate reform of the international financial system, demand urgent climate action, and immediate access to vaccines. He noted that it is time to live with COVID. As we seek to fortify our region, we do so in the context of profound global crisis. We are entering the third year of a global pandemic that has permanently changed the way we live and work. When our region transitions to the epidemic phase of COVID-19 will depend on accessibility to vaccines, COVID-19 specific treatments and other therapeutics. Unfortunately, vaccine access and hesitancy remain challenges for several of our member states. We will discuss during our meeting how to overcome these setbacks. It is time to live with COVID. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.